Welcome back. It's Business Unusual with Daniel Omara. No introduction needed here. Hi, mm. Daniel. Hi, so How's it going? Again. Great, great. Thursday, a prelude to the weekend. Oh, yeah. I'm One more day to, to go. Mm. Mm. Like a problem. I'm so happy about it. Especially this new weed. I'm going on a boat cruise. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see what Wait, can new. you clarify, clarify what kind of weed you're talking about? Now, I'm talking about the weed in the sea. Now, chances ah. are it's the same as the one we have on no, the No, it isn't. I am sure it is because we don't yet know what it does. Mm. And the only reason that weed is still there is because Bobby White doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, now that it has been placed in the media, mm. I am sure it will be gone. Just send him the coordinates and his yacht, he will be there. Even, the weed, blast. even the weed knows that it has no business in Kamu. It knows it has no business in It's like, let me go to the lake where I'm safe. Uh -huh. I'll be there. Uh -huh. Expect a lot of Jamaican fish, you know, new species of fish, uh -huh. flying fish, dreadlocked fish, <laughs> <laughs> fish in rasta colors, me, you're too much. green and yellow. <laughs> but it's fun, it's fun. Though I think we are, we are, we are a bit rash on, on the whole weed issue. Mm -hmm. We're going to destroy it before we can discover its scientific potential. Who knows, it could be the cure to the starvation in Teso region. No, or the know. cure for HIV. Like seriously, I'm, I'm not joking about this. Mm. This much. is me being serious. It, it could be a whole number of things which reflects on our education system. Mm. Scientists are too lazy mm. <laughs> to go and figure out what the weed does. It might be better than Dodo. Yeah, for all we know, yeah. It could be a new Lua delicacy. Guys are up there on my Are you one. guys serious? <laughs> seriously. Just eat the thing. The, 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 eat it. See what it's like. Mm. Why is it growing there? There is a purpose. There is a plan for it. Mm. But the funny thing is we insist on making science as compulsory in a country where half the nation can't express itself. Mm -hmm. Even the guys in parliament. Okay. Really? Yeah. Mm. I, mean, I, I find you kind of we express ourselves very well. Uh, we express ourselves. You have you ever had Ugandans have a conversation without words, just mm, sound? Mm. <laughs> like we are talking so the uh, other day. Mm -hmm. mm. I went ah. with this guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like it was fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. it's like, so what happened? Well, we rocked. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's shady. I think he has, he has another chick on the side. Mm -hmm. oh. so it's just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, ooh, ah. <laughs> I think really, you proved me wrong. You're right. <laughs> There's really not much speaking. And, and the best one is like. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> that expression. <laughs> Whoa, wait, but eh, woo, wee, woo, as the uh -huh. everything is expressed. And you want to make science compulsory in a country like this one. <laughs> we, have, we need compulsory literature. <laughs> That I can encourage. In mm. fact, I'll respond to the feedback this guy sent in where I said we should focus on the sciences because the other ones are compulsory. <laughs> what language did he mm, write his statement? Irrelevant, yeah. yes. Mm. What language did he write his statement in? Because I don't think it was binary. I don't think his status was one one zero zero one one one. He spoke in a language. He spoke something. He wrote in English. Uh -huh. That's why you have high school kids coming up with slangs that are longer than the original words. Uh -huh. Like you've seen it on Facebook. Someone wants to write you. Mm -hmm. Now the original is Y O U, but they write Y H U E. I thought Why? the whole essence of slang was to shorten mm. things. Yeah. It baffles me. It's a Ugandan thing. Yeah. And kids are failing. I, and I can give you the solution to passing. Mm -hmm. I have it all up here. Do you? Mm. Number one is happy teachers. Okay. Because you do not expect clean water mm -hmm. when the source is polluted. Like, so that's like cutting someone's balls off and saying you must have kids. It, mm. you, you can't. Take oh, the teachers well. Okay. Yes. <laughs> give the teachers their due. Let them be happy enough to actually teach the students. Otherwise, you'll have scenarios where mm. a teacher walks into class and is like, Five times seven, kid is like 46. It's like, that is correct until they increase my salary. You know, oh, wow. <laughs> because that's what's happening right now. Yeah. Secondly, confidence. Mm. We need more, more, more confidence in the kids because that's confidence is the same reason why ugly men end up with beautiful women. Okay. Okay, let's not say ugly, mm. especially challenged men. Mm. For example, that's how Jay Z got Beyonce. And that's the story of the whole of you guys. That's the story, yeah. Mm. That's how Jay Z. Have you seen Jay Z? My goodness, that guy buys lip balm like KFC by the bucket. As oh my God. <laughs> if he got it in chapstick, it would be gone in one go. That's the, and he got his Beyonce. So you need those two things. And kids need to love school more. Mm -hmm. they, they need to enjoy academics because no one likes school. In mm -hmm. Uganda, school is like a nine to five job where you pay your boss a salary. Mm -hmm. And you get to take work home. Okay. So guys need to love. It. Just those three need to change those and three will start passing. Okay. Oh, Daniel. Yeah. What about like. with Shakira? Hmm? Who is Shakira? <laughs> she, she works in the cafeteria. <laughs> I heard she sang the World Cup song. <laughs> we'll be back to say goodbye. Back in a moment. <laughs>